G'day and welcome back to Steve's Tesla. How do you go about updating the software in your Tesla? I seem to get a new software update virtually every month from Tesla and these are always very welcome. I always install them right away. Where I live in my apartment block however, we have our own garages and they're deep underground. And my garage is so far from my apartment I can't actually access my Wi-Fi signal. Now I have looked at getting a router and extending the Wi-Fi down to my garage but that was going to be complex and expensive. When I search for Wi-Fi within my garage I can actually see that I could connect to my neighbour's Wi-Fi and I suppose I could come to some arrangement where I make a small contribution for the cost of that. But actually what I do is I use my mobile phone, as I think many people do, and just set it up as a Wi-Fi hotspot so that my car can connect to the phone and then I can drive around and do the software update as I'm driving. Now, some of you might be saying, what's this? You can set up your phone to be a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot? Well, yes, you can. And if you're not aware of that, just stick around because I'll be explaining that to you shortly. However, I do think there might be some users out there, possibly older Tesla drivers, who try and keep away from this newfangled technology. Maybe they're just using the key card for access and not using a smartphone as a key. They may even have some form of older flip phone type technology and have not gone to a smartphone at all. That's entirely possible because you don't actually need to have a smartphone to drive your Tesla. So for those people I'm just wondering how are they going about updating their software. Now they may be fortunate in that their car pulls up to the house and connects to their Wi-Fi. But what I want to explore is what do you do if you don't have easy access to Wi-Fi. Now one of the options you've got is to go to the local mall or maybe a public building like the council building or public library and just park outside and see if you can connect to their Wi-Fi. I recently went to the local mall and went to the Tesla charging locations, plugged in to charge for a while and while I was there I did a search to see if I'd actually be able to connect to the free mall Wi-Fi. What I found however was that the free Wi-Fi at the mall didn't actually reach the Tesla charging bays. But I did a bit of a walk around the car park and what I did find is that there are several locations within the car park at the mall where the free Wi-Fi signal was actually quite strong. So I can't see any reason why it wouldn't be possible to connect to the free mall Wi-Fi while you're sitting there parking. Sit there for half an hour, download the software, and then complete the software update once you get home. Let's now take a look at how to set up your mobile hotspot on your smartphone. You'll know when there's a software update available as a little yellow arrow will appear in the top left hand corner of your screen or possibly you'll get a notification on your Tesla app on your phone. I use an iPhone and in the settings menu is the personal hotspot. You just need to turn that on to make it discoverable so others can join and you will find it appears in the drop down menu of available Wi-Fi sources. Sometimes you have to get into the Wi-Fi settings menu and turn Wi-Fi on first. You select your personal hotspot and then the car will connect to that Wi-Fi signal. The yellow arrow will turn to green once the download commences. Then head to the software section and you can see the update starting to download. While the software is downloading you can have a look at the release notes and in this particular case we're doing the 2023 holiday update with some exciting features I've been looking forward to. I'm sure it won't be long before there are plenty of reviews of the holiday update. One of the features I like is the Apple Podcasts app is now on the main screen. So I've been able to connect to my account and now all of my favourite podcasts and music libraries are all available directly on the main screen. Tesla have also enhanced the camera views and introduced 3D precision 
parking so you get a 360 degree view of the vehicle now with increased resolution on all of the surrounding cars. Just take a look at this as I drive through one of the local car parks and you get an astounding view of all of the vehicles that you're passing by. So I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. G'day and welcome to Steve's Tesla. This is my channel dedicated to electric vehicles and renewable energy. Subscribe now and let's drive.